Welcome everyone back to the Loan for Cards YouTube channel and we are playing Drug Dealer Simulator and uh, I just wanted to share this one a bug with you guys and this is a bug that's been around since day one and I didn't show this bug earlier on because I thought they were going to fix this bug and this is one of the biggest bugs that there is in the game and it's sort of a bug that actually can help you out and especially now since you know they fixed some of the bugs on like the game task that's the progression is going so this actually can help you in your favor um, that way you don't have to have a whole bunch of story space so the title of this video as you can see is to have unlimited amount of space in your cupboard or in unlimited amount of space storage space that you can have so basically what you have to do is get a modern cupboard which you can buy at the furniture store it's really cheap and as you can see, um, there's $45,000 cash, which is the max you can pretty much put in there. And the size is really good, right? You have 900 size, the weight is 1200. And this is what I use all the time. And since you have big orders now, by the time you get to level you know, 30 or so, and you did you know, a whole bunch of uh, Balena and KG task, you're gonna be doing like a thousand grams of Coke and meth moving to like 1500. And you're not gonna have enough storage space. So this is a good way to get your store space and um, I'm figuring that they are going to patch this eventually and the reason why I didn't show this is that you know like I thought they're going to be patching this by now this is patch number three one of the biggest bugs but they have it so this is what I'm going to do is to show you how to do this so basically you have the money here um, or uh, whatever stuff you have in there you can just move this out of there and we're going to do is we're going to drag one duffel bag and, and you can use briefcases, um, but brief, briefcases and duffel bags is probably the easiest thing to do. So once you put it in here, you drag it back, and as you can see, it it clears it out. So if you do it again, it's gonna make it empty. Okay, so now you can just put your money back in there, and now you have a whole another nine hundred or so to do this. So that's how you can get a whole bunch of cocaine or meth and all these other drugs or supplies that you have. You can store it into one cupboard now, so you don't have to worry about having multiple cupboards or multiple cabinets, things like that. So this actually, you know, works in your favor and, you know, it's, it's good to use. But um, like I said, I don't like using, uh, I mean, I only use this because I have to do big runs, like the Bolina task. You do like about 15 to 2,000 grams of Coke and, and you can't really store it in every, anywhere else besides here. And for you to have a whole bunch ready prepped, it's going to be easy. Okay, so the next bug I'm going to show you is a big exploit. And if you're not at a point that you grinded this game up to level 30 or 40 I recommend you not watching this I mean you can watch it but I recommend not doing it because for you to get this exploit it's sort of gonna ruin the game for you because then it's like using a cheat engine or some other cheat code and it's not good I mean it's I would just use this just to for fun and just playing around and, and having a whole bunch of stuff but if you want to actually play the game and grind it and pass the 500 gang rep to do it legitly and it makes it fun but once you get to a point maybe you want to try this and and use it it's cool but um you know since the furniture store gets open up really early in the game and if you do this right right off the bat then you can uh, speed run it a lot faster which you know it's it, it's up to you if you like to do it or not i personally like don't like to do that i like to just do it manually and sell to drugs uh to the customers and dealers and this uh, okay so i'm going to show you that's enough ranting. So if you if you turned it off, that's fine. If you're watching this, cool. Sorry for the rant and the blabbling. Okay. So what you do now is basically you want to put, doesn't matter what bags that you use. I use duffel bag because it's the biggest. You can use suitcases, large backpacks, red bag, whatever you want to use. So what we're going to put all of them in here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put all the money in this duffel bag. So it holds 30000 and then we're gonna do is we're gonna drag it back. Okay, so now you have a thirty thousand dollar duffel bag, and these are all the empty ones. So you're gonna just drag one of the empty ones here, and as you can see, every time you drag a bag from the right to the left, it it lowers the size. So the bigger bag you have, the better to reduce the amount. So if you have briefcases, it's gonna limit only a certain amount on that size. So from here, you just just drag one dollar, and then you just drag it back. And what that's gonna do is just gonna duplicate the bag. And it's gonna have thirty thousand dollars, and now you have two bags of thirty thousand dollars. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just drag this back real quick and reset it, okay? And now what you do is you're gonna drag one dollar again, and do the same thing. You drag one bag over, 
Drive one dollar. Back again. And that's what you do. So you just keep on duplicating your bags and then if you want to put your money back. And then you can actually do is from here, just drag this back so you can reset it. Or I'm sorry, you can do one. It's probably do one's better. Yeah, you do one. You drag one bag over so you can reset it. And then since you have $3, you don't have to do anything else. Just drag it back. And then you have your 30000 back again. So that's pretty much it. You can just keep on doing this over and over again. Just put in $1 here. Duplicate it. And once you get it duplicated, you can actually go um, clear it out. You can do clear it out multiple times so you can make it to zero. Go back here. Drag all your money. And then you keep on getting money. And you can drag it back, put your other money in. You can duplicate and you can, you can go back and forth a limited amount of times. And that's how you do it. And you can build it up all your money. So that's the little trick and tips that I have. Uh, There's an exploit. I, I recommend not doing this in the early games, especially if you're brand new. If you never play this game and you're actually you, you stumbled across this and, and you want to do this, it's kind of sort of kill your gameplay because you want to go through all the dealers and, and go through all that uh, task and things like that. But if you have a whole bunch of money, you just sell unlimited amount. It sort of gets boring and uh, hopefully new content comes out. And you know, I got bored and stacked all my money here. And you can see what $5 million looks like. So making this video short, but it took me a long time because I stacked up a whole bunch of cash here. So you guys to see, um, obviously I'm not going to save this. Um, Why well, do I have a save for this video? But I'm going to go back to my, my normal game, which I'm at level 31 and go back to it and do the regular grind of doing the task, my Balena task and do that. So that's it for this video guys. I uh, hope you guys like this content. Um, if you have any questions or comments, obviously just send a uh, comment down. I'll respond at ASAP. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, I'm on the, uh, the official Drug Dealer Simulator Discord. So you can see me there. Um, I chat there all the time. You can send me a question over there. That's the fastest way I usually respond. And uh, if you like the contest, please hit the like, hit the subscribes. It really helps me out a lot. And hopefully I can grow this channel even more and give you guys more daily content as much as I can. All right, guys, have a good one. Stay safe out there. Peace out.